New up four as Hurricane Dorian moves up the East Coast, Central Florida is getting back to normal. Thousands of people prepared for Dorian. Now some are wondering what to do with all those extra supplies. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky went to get answers for us. She joins us live in our newsroom now with this. Adriana? Extra water, extra snacks, yeah, we have them too. But most store managers tell me you should really keep your extra supplies since we are only halfway through hurricane season. But we saw at least one family trying to get back their money. Over at this Orlando Lowe's, we saw one family bringing back a generator to the store. And while the store manager here says they will accept returns on some hurricane items, he says you really should keep them around. If a generator or chainsaw is unopened in the original packaging, we will return it with a receipt. Um, things like bottled water and things like that we can't return. And most people we talk to in the store say they're doing just that. Not really any need to keep or return anything. Are you keeping your water and all your stuff? Yes. Yes, definitely. While things like batteries and generators and unused tarps can be returned, things like used or cut plywood cannot. If it hasn't been um, damaged by the weather or it doesn't have screw holes in it, our policy is the same as it is any other time. Okay, so you can return it? If it's not damaged, yes ma'am. We also checked at a local grocery store to see if anyone was returning their unused hurricane supplies. Lucky store manager Tim Mateus says you might as well hang on to it. This early in the season, it's it's too soon to, to want to be out of water. We'll, we'll have a few more, I'm afraid. Another thing to hang on to, your sandbags. Chuck Brown with Lowe's says as long as they're dry, they can last for months. The same with bottled water. Now some of you out there may be thinking you should donate your extra supplies and food to help those in Grand Bahama or even here to the Carolinas. But I talked to one local nonprofit who says while your heart is in the right place, there are better ways to help those efforts. I'll have more on that tonight at 7 o'clock. Live in the newsroom, Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6.